Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this quick little guide on how you can get the first secret chest within the last wish raid without glitching, cheesing or anything like that. This is a legit way incorporated into the game by Bungie which allows you to basically get that free raid loot. It is as simple as that. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show support, hitting that like button really helps out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so as you may know, or actually may not know, a hidden room was found in the raid, which beholds something called the Wall of Wishes. This Wall of Wishes allows you to shoot pads, matching them to corresponding puzzles found throughout the Destiny universe, which rewards you triumphs and more. These secret codes also allow you to skip encounters, meaning you can skip to certain parts in the raid, like to Morgoth, the Vault and so on. Today I'll show you the simple trick you can use to skip the first encounter and grab that first secret chest for free. Now if you've got a raid team and you're having no problems in the raid, this video is not for you clearly. If you are a solo player or if you ain't got a full team and haven't done the raid yet, you can use this, but this can be done solo also, that is the best thing about it. So what you need to do is load up the raid and make your way to the first encounter or if you have the checkpoint here, Go back on yourself so you are outside of the main first encounter room. Follow the route I take to the Wall of Wishes room. Okay, so here you need to enter the code I do. I won't speed up the video as it can be a little difficult to follow. So enter the code and then I shall return.
Okay, so once the code has been entered, you need to stand on the pad. When you do, you will be teleported to the first spire. From here, we travel back to the first chest. Let's do this together, people. So as you stand on the pad, you'll see your triumph will pop up and then you should die. Your light fades away. Now you will respawn within the first spire. So you've actually skipped the entire Kali encounter, which I know probably isn't wise if you're going into the raid for the first time and you mean you may want to get all the loot you may want to go through every encounter and grab that red loot to help you level up but yeah if you have done that and just want to go in there every week just to get this chest you can do that or if you're a solo player you can do this also so you spawn in the first spire and you want to turn back on yourself and you can see the great bridge right there now it's actually quite simple to get back i mean you can do this on every class guaranteed I mean a lot of people will go probably think about going the normal way which is around that way but no we are going to climb up on this rock right here and it just makes things way way easier getting back I mean I'm on a titan right here and I can't use titans to save my life I mean the jumps are just all over the place I am a hunter through and through so the titan jump for me it's just wild to control it really is but what you need to do is just make your way up this rock I mean none of the jumps are too high I mean you want to jump up onto this the ledge right there next but yeah none of the jumps are too high you can make them on basically every class but if you are struggling I mean the lion rampants on the titan will help you out the stumps will help you on the hunter I'm not sure about warlock because I basically don't use warlock but yeah I mean I got a warlock but I don't make them I mean I don't use them so but yeah so what you want to do now here is you just want to jump up to this ledge right here but you can use this little rock right here it's easy people and you want to you want to make yourself right the way to the top oh yeah you want to jump right to the very top and it, it is so easy it's unbelievable keep going just keep going just keep going one more jump and we are there now what you want to do is just jump across to this platform right there i mean like it's it, it really is as simple as that now you're probably on a titan we want to take a run up so your um chips and burger or your shoulder charge will kick in but once you're here all you do is you simply make your way back and just go tread carefully along these well, these supports, these columns, these beams, these things that I don't even know what they are. Just make your way back through these. Now, once you get to here, there should be, no, it's not this one. There's, there's one there's, where there's a gap, which you have to be careful because if you're not looking, you just fall off. Forward to your doom and I'm not sure where you will respawn. So yeah, I think it's here. You see the gap right there? This is where you have to be careful. You think, oh yeah, it's going to slope, but it don't. Oh, yeah, just jump across to this rock right here. Oh, well, not this one, jump down, and just carry on around. It is, it's, it's so simple, it's so easy, it's ridiculous. Um, is this the actual, this ain't the, I don't, is this the pad where the chest is? Um, let's have a look. I don't think this is the one. Mm, no, that is not the one, is it? That definitely ain't the one, it's the next one across. It is the next one across, yes, it definitely is. Now, a lot of people think you have to jump down from the actual plate, you stand, you don't actually have to jump down, you can go down the locks. Yep, this is definitely the one. Because that's the first buy out right there. So yes, this is definitely the one. So a lot of people think you have to jump down from here. You actually don't have to jump down from here. I think it's that one there. Is it? Or is it the one below? I'm not even sure. But you don't have to jump down. Just follow this route here. It saves you a couple minutes if you're not very good at jumping. Uh, constantly dying like I normally do. So let's jump down here. Jump down here. Jump down onto this next rock. And you'll see it right there. Jump down again. And I believe, yes you can go again and it really is people as simple as that and there you go there is the first raid chest now I've already grabbed this so I ain't gonna get no loot from it but um, I actually did get this auto rifle we'll see in my hand right here the red auto rifle which is just incredible as you will see I got a great roll on it too so yeah great great weapon Lo absolutely love it I got the range master work on it as well which I mean it can get match range standard but I got Increase range with the master whip, but yeah, guys, this is it's as simple as that. This is how you get the first raid chest no glitches, no cheesing, no cheating, no nothing. Using uh, means what I've well, basically been putting the game by Bungie. So, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. And if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe, guys. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. Use this to get that free raid loot. If you are a solo player, if you ain't got a full team yet, if you ain't high enough to enter the raid yet, you can do this. Really simple, really easy, no glitching Cali, no nothing else. But yeah guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you out. If you did, leave a like, it really helps me out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. But you and I will carry on. Never
getting right.